You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we'll be recapping Raw from November 20th. Yes, a very good episode. Yeah, I thought it was good. Um, I felt like it was a long episode, but it wasn't dragging. Like, like it didn't seem like... Like, there was so much going on. Uh-huh. So that, you meant, like, it was, like, a like a f- packed Yeah, show. but I was, like, entertained, because when it was, what, 10.30, and then they brought out Elias, I was like, whoa, there's still more? Yeah, because usually the way it works is the main event is usually anything. If it's 10.30 and there's a new segment, it's usually the main event, and it's just long. Mm-hmm. Or, but, yeah, or the finishing of the women's or cruiserweight segment that usually yeah. precedes the... Uh, so. Main event. But yeah, we uh, open the show with Stephanie McMahon. Surprise, surprise here. Yeah. Uh, you know, comes down, talks about their victory at Survivor Series, and then she says that uh, Shane knows how to strike first, but she knows how to win. Yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. Um, she says because Team Raw won, that Kurt Angle's job is apparently a thousand percent secure. Which is interesting because yeah. that's like super secure. Well, that, I think that was the. Uh, the whole point of it. Ah. Yeah. So no matter what he does, exactly. he can't get fired? Sure, why not? We'll go with that. I don't know. For now. For this week. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so she wants to bring out the man that is the one that helps secure the victory. So Triple H comes out. As soon as he gets in the ring, Kurt Angle comes right out. Um, Kurt was Kurt, not happy. No. He uh, got right up. Right, he got up in Triple H's face. Mm-hmm. And he said, if, uh, if you ever attack me from behind again... You can take this job and shove it, and I'm coming for you. Yep. So yeah, it was a it was a good opening. Yeah, segment. Uh, very uh, very passionate from Mr. Angle. Yep. And then, <laughs> so at this point, uh, Jason Jordan comes out mm-hmm. and he says that he wants. Look, he looked fine, by the way. Yes, not yeah, injured, not, no at limping, all. right? No, I don't think so. So he comes out and he says that he wants Triple H in a match mm-hmm. tonight. So then Stephanie gets on the microphone and she says, Triple H isn't afraid of you or anyone in that locker room. And we all know what was coming next. Bro. <laughs> and you can see the look in Triple H's eyes. He looked scared. He did. So Braun comes barreling down the entrance ramp into the ring and just gets up in Triple H's face. Mm-hmm. And uh, Triple H kind of slowly backs away, goes through the ropes. They walk around the outside and Stephanie gets on the microphone and says, Jason Jordan, you want a match? You can wrestle Braun Strowman tonight. Yep. So, yeah, good opening segment. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah. so are we thinking that Braun is going to be facing Triple H at some point? Nah. You don't think so? Nah. I, don't know. I kind of feel like that's kind of what the, the whole reason why Triple H even had any kind of confrontation with uh, him. I mean, you... You would think. I mean, ultimately, it's going to lead to Angle and Triple H. Yeah, but, but I, mean, I don't know if they're going to put Braun in a match with Triple H. I don't know. It it just feels like it since um, they're doing this whole Braun is or Triple H is actually afraid of Braun. Yeah, because um, obviously not many people can say that. No, but uh, as we move through the night, we learn that Braun can't get something away from him. He has a friend. That's true. That will not leave him alone. Mm-hmm. So, uh, um, but yeah, up next we have the first match, which is Finn Balor versus Samoa Joe. And you can't go wrong here. Yeah, it was a good match. This, uh, it was a, I would say maybe pay per view quality. I mean, a little, you know, they were given a decent amount of time. Yeah, it's true. It was a lot of good spots. Mm-hmm. Uh, Joe with the suicide dives, like he normally does. Uh, but otherwise, it was pretty standard yeah. for them anyway. They got their moves in. Yeah, exactly. But, so Finn, I guess, hit the drop kick to the corner, mm-hmm. right? Did he hit a double stomp on the ground? I thought uh, he kicked, yeah, didn't he jump yeah, on when, chest? Yeah, because he knocked over Joe, and then he hit, hit him with the... That's what it was. Well, yeah. I think it was an overhead kick. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. Yes, because, yeah. yeah, they were both fighting, and that was his desperation move yeah. was the overhead kick, and then... He like he, like, got hit, and then he did the overhead kick, and then he got up and double stomped him. Mm-hmm. That's it. So uh, Finn goes up for the coup de grace. Joe was able to get up. He kind of grabs him. It looked like he was going to go for a Uranagi. He kind of yeah. just picked him up in that way yeah. and then uh, ends up putting him in the Coquina Clutch and Finn passes out. Yep. Falls um, asleep. So when 
Joe and Seth were having their feud. This uh-huh. is the same thing that happened to Seth. Um, even though Joe, I mean, Seth went over. Uh, Joe still got a victory over him without pass with him passing out, so yeah. it didn't make him look weak. Yeah. Um, but I, 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 I don't think there's any truth to Finn versus Brock at the Rumble. It was a lot of talk about it. Yeah, there's there are rumors, but you know things change constantly. Yeah. So yeah, who knows if Brock's even going to defend the title at the Rumble? Yeah. Who knows? So. Anyway. Uh, yeah. They could have another AJ versus Brock match. I would be perfectly fine with that. I don't think that's going to happen, but... It could happen. It could happen, yeah. Um, uh, one of them would have to not be champion. Why? Why? You think they're going to have... Oh, or unless it's title versus title. <laughs> well, no, they could just have a rematch. Yeah, but... I, I'm not saying them, it makes sense. No, they I'm wouldn't keep it's... two titles off of the, uh, the pay-per-view. Why not? It's the Royal Rumble. <sighs> I guess so. You could have two Rumbles. You could have four rumbles. No, I'm just saying to. the because well, they're they're kind of building to that to be able it's, to it's, it's at possible. the very least. Yes, yes. So. There has been no talk about it, but yes, it's definitely possible. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Um. They uh. We have a re a small recap of AJ versus Brock, mm-hmm. like the slow pictures and blah blah blah. Yeah. Um. And then we have a backstage segment with nope. uh, Jason Jordan and Kurt Angle. No, no. Oh, you oh, missed yeah, something. Yeah, that's right. I'm sorry. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm you sorry. should. Yeah. So before that, they uh, the WWE shop has been having or is planning on having sales for the next few days or up until Black, Black Friday. Um, and this time, or for this episode, mm-hmm. we had the Good Brothers, yes. Carl Anderson and uh, Luke Allows doing a, a promo for the shop. Very good. It was very entertaining. Mm-hmm. So, and it's funny because Enzo and Cass did this last year. So does that mean that these guys are going to be split up at the uh, sometime next year? I don't think so. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't see WWE going in a direction with either of these two as singles competitors. No, I was just you know maybe one gets released because the other one isn't as talented. No. Okay. It's not going to happen. Just, R- regardless if this person eats pins every week, that's, he's that's, the more talented it's funny of because the two. That's not necessarily what I was getting at. <laughs> no, I but know. It's just, just yeah. throwing it out there. Not, not fair enough. Anyway, going back to what I was talking about before. Yes. Um, Jason Jordan and uh, Kurt Angle backstage. Uh, Jason is apparently uh, actually still hurt, supposedly. Yeah. Um, and he was just being tough because he really wanted to match Triple H, and he doesn't think he'll be able to take on Braun Strowman. Uh, Kurt answers with, uh, well, if I cancel the match, then it's going to look bad. So he's like, oh, fine, I guess I'll You don't want to get pedigreed again this week, do you? It's true. <laughs> Which is funny because Kurt never said anything about him pedigreeing his son. He didn't care. I guess so. It's called child abuse. <laughs> if, uh, what, if other people do it, it's it's child abuse as yeah, well. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. So, uh, uh, so yeah. Was he his babysitter? He's uh-huh. beating him. So uh, up next, we had a uh, another match with Oscar facing Dana Brooke. Yes. And what we learned before the match was that Dana Brooke was studying Asuka by watching the Asuka collection on the WWE Network. Apparently, she found some holes in her game. Yeah, that something was really like funny. That. Yeah, this like, was uh, wow. This is dumb. That was that was something else. But uh, <laughs> this probably should have been Asuka's debut match. It would have made more sense. Yeah. So that was a pretty big uh, squash match, I think. Dana got maybe one or two moves in there, but uh, Asuka won with a... I guess she just kicked her in the face, right? Well, she does roundhouse kicks a lot. Yeah, I didn't think it was a roundhouse kick. Was well, I thought it was. No, they usually that's Usually what she they goes are, for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was a nice kick. It yeah. looked good. Mm-hmm. And that was it. Uh-huh. And that brought us to uh, Miz TV with Roman Reigns. Yeah, this one was a bit of a mess, I guess. Oh, a little bit. There was a little recovery there. The and some technical are. difficulties. Yeah, that was really funny. Mm-hmm. Um, right. But yeah, when did the Miz had Roman on once before, right? Recently, not right? that long. Yeah, ago. that's what I thought. Yeah, it probably kicked off another feud, mm-hmm. or that was probably, the, for their last match. It probably set up the TLC yeah. match. Mm-hmm. That's um, true. But yeah, um, first the Miz talks about how um, that he helped Baron Corbin finally be Raw event mm-hmm. again, thanks to him. Obviously, just brushed it off. Yeah. <laughs> um and he said that he should be thanked and uh but yeah and then he's like i don't have any more time for 
uh, SmackDown or their their terrible champion. <laughs> And uh, then he's like, time to introduce my guest, mm-hmm. Roman Reigns. And then he points at the the stage and nothing. Mm. Then he does it two more times. Yep. And then uh, finally, the shield music hits, which mm-hmm. is basically Roman's with words in front of it. Pretty um, much. <laughs> and then him and uh, Roman, Seth, and Dean come down from the stands. Yep. And uh, they go in to the ring. They talk about uh, their victory last night over the New Day. Mm-hmm. And then, like you had alluded to, there's a lot of chanting. Oh, yeah, yeah. The crowd definitely um, took over the match. Um, or not the match, there the was, segment. There was a Miz is awesome chant. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Miz, right? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, at that point, the Miz said that he, he claimed that he was responsible for the Shield getting back together. Yes. And that he wanted them to thank him for that. Yeah. And that's when the crowd started going crazy. Yeah. Thank you, Miz. Yeah. It's like, they're thanking me, but I want you to thank me. <laughs> And then they were, the Shield was uh, talking about all their gear and their clothing and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and they, I think the Miz made a joke about them not having any chance. He was the only champion in the ring. Mm-hmm. And then Dean and Seth said they were going to get their titles back from Shams and Cesaro. And then Rome was like, well, I don't want to be left alone. And Miz, you have a title, so maybe I'll take that title. Mm-hmm. So then he challenges to a, ma- to a match later on in the night. And then uh, Dallas and Axel walk up going, no, you got to go through us first before you can get to him. And so the Miz gets out of the ring. Dallas and Axel get their ass kicked. Yep. It's, I, I like the way that they went about the title challenge mm-hmm. because it seemed organic. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because, it no, it didn't seem forced at all. Yeah, because it's like the, the topic was brought up. Mm-hmm. It was thought about, and it was executed. Yeah, yeah no, no, it was there, a good segment. Were, yeah, so... Stuff like this is always good to like, right. see. Yeah, yeah, because it, it built right yeah. there and it in flowed. front of your eyes. It flowed. Mm-hmm. There was no stilted like speeches or anything. Yeah. It was a smooth back and forth. Oh, also, the technical difficulties we were talking about was during, while The Miz was speaking, all the lights went oh, out. Oh, yes, they did. That's right. <laughs> Put my mo- lights back on or whatever he said. Yeah. And then he got a spotlight <laughs> for a second, and then the whole all the lights went back on. Yeah, up, so. that's right. It was, uh, it was pretty funny. Was funny. He was not happy about mm-hmm. it. Nope. Then we got a Braun interview backstage with Charlie, mm-hmm. and she asks him about his match later on tonight with Jason Jordan. And then she says that Jason Jordan is not afraid of you. Mm-hmm. And he says, good. He's unlike Triple H, who is yeah. afraid of me. <laughs> well, yeah, because he, he said that he, that means he's not like Tri- everyone yeah. else. Right. And then he's like, like tr- unlike Triple H, who is mm-hmm. definitely afraid of him. Yep. All right. So uh, up next, we have Ambrose versus Sheamus. Yeah. I, I mean, they're always going to put on good matches, but we've seen this, what? Oh, yeah. It's, Five times it's gone on way too SummerSlam. Long. Um, it's not like you can do much because they even intertwine them with the Miz mm-hmm. and I don't know. Yeah, it it's getting a little old, but you know. I mean, they're putting on quality matches. Still. It's true. Um, but it's funny because Dean and Seth were still in the ring mm-hmm. from like oh, yeah, a yeah, segment like right. ten minutes earlier. <laughs> um, yeah. but yeah, there's there's you know, it it's always quality TV at mm-hmm. the very least. Yeah. So um. Yeah, because I guess uh, Sheamus had attacked Seth outside the ring mm-hmm. a couple times, and then randomly toward the end of the match, Seth just jumps into the ring and hits uh, Sheamus with a suicide dive. I mean, Cesaro with a suicide oh, yeah, dive. Because he yeah, was yeah. chasing after That's him, what I think. It, yes, and yeah. to get, I guess, an advantage, he mm-hmm. jumped into the ring. Yeah, so Sheamus got distracted by this. Dean hits the Dirty Deeds, and... You don't kick out from the dirty deeds. It's true. That is all she wrote. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's tough to say where they go from here with the tag belts. I don't know, because you kind of get the feeling that they're going to put the three of them with the titles at some point. But Yeah, no, no, no. I, I just mean future opponents. Oh, well, I mean, oh. when the Hardys come back. I think there's going to be, hmm, I don't know, maybe a call up. The author's a pain. Possibly. That 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 seems like the legit contender to them. Yeah. Unless just or sanity you bring up too. Yeah. Just because right now there's literally nobody. Mm-hmm. Although SmackDown's full of teams that they're just not using. <laughs> wow. We got one team that can come over and take those titles. Harper. 
Rowan. Yeah, I, I figured that's what you were getting at. <laughs> that's not going to happen. Nah. Um, all right. So up next, we had a uh, an interesting segment. Oh, yes. This was uh, Jason Jordan and Matt Hardy. Yeah. Backstage. Mm-hmm. Jason Jordan asks him, because you faced Braun, can, do you have any mm-hmm. pointers? Wonderful. <laughs> So, yeah. so Matt just basically goes that I've I've faced I've faced big guys like the Big Show and Mark Henry and even Lesner. the Beast, <laughs> but this is, he's not just a man; he's a monster mm-hmm. among men because right. they again are really playing that up. Yeah. Oh yeah. And uh, you know, so, Matt talked about family, right? Something like that. Uh, he learned the importance of family, yeah. or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, he's like, "All I have to say is good luck to you." And so, just sometimes it's not your night. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, Jordan was very confused. Yeah. And then he just walks away. That wasn't the advice I was seeking. Yeah. I was looking maybe his leg is weak or yeah right. <laughs> Put out a nice turkey for him. I'll go after that. That's true. Um, Priorities. Yeah. So up next we have Alexa Bliss come out and. You know, she says that apparently people have been tweeting to her, giving her pity tweets about her loss last night against Charlotte. You really tried. Yeah. Good luck. Although you came up a, a little bit short. It was uh, a good match. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, that was a uh, so uh, well-deserved, uh, I guess. So. Mm-hmm. But, you know, you have to you have to twist it in a way that makes it look like. Of course. Uh, so she says that, you know, 2017 has been her year, mm-hmm. and she's still the goddess. Yes. And there's no one who can hold a candle to her. Uh-huh. And then at this point in time, my eyes rolled because <laughs> Mickey James came out. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. one the one who wasn't even involved in hey, Survivor Series. Hey, you know, the way the segment went, you, you, you can't complain. Oh, no, yeah. no, the, no. I the, know, but yeah. generally that's it's the same I, thing with Stephanie coming out in the beginning. I'm yeah. like, oh, great, here we go yeah. again. Like I said, at first when that happened... Mm-hmm. Because it's the same old thing that's been going on. Oh, yeah, she comes out, she gets the biscuit butt chant going. Yep, which Uh, is pretty funny. Yeah. And Um, then she says that, you know, she basically wants a title shot. And then Alexa laughs because, you know, she's had her opportunities. Mm -hmm. And then we get Bailey coming out, says the same thing, Sasha, and then surprisingly Alicia Fox. Yeah. So I I like that they're going to use her more Mm -hmm. because she's really funny as a crazy person. Because. When she was with um, Dar, she was kind of just whiny, mm. not oh, too much crazy. God, whiny was definitely the so right. So uh, her her just being nuts is definitely more entertaining. Oh, absolutely, it works. And she she had like the captain's jacket on, mm-hmm. which was pretty funny. Yeah, she um, never had on this week, did she? No. Nah. But she, like I said, she was wearing the jacket, mm-hmm. so I guess that was to signify the yeah. captain thing. So then Alexa grabs the microphone. She still has the microphone, and she says. Oh, you were none of you. No, no, no. I was was gonna say none of you deserve an opportunity. And then she leaves the ring because you know we don't need to see this again. It's true. Um, So it this match. Well, I don't think this match has happened because usually Fox isn't involved in that. Yeah, no, she's she's fought uh, Sasha what four or five weeks in a row and tapped out to the same move. Yeah. Um. So she leaves the ring and then Kurt Angle comes out and he says. We're going to have a match between you four women in the ring, mm-hmm. and the winner will face Alexa Bliss. Yes. No time, you know, timetable. They didn't need to. I guess that is true, because <laughs> usually they'll be like, oh, at the next pay-per-view, but yeah. the next pay-per-view isn't for a while. Yeah, they're right. It is the Rumble, yeah, technically. Yeah, technically. Um, so uh, Alexa Bliss kind of just has a, like, you got to be kidding me look mm-hmm. on her face. Not this crap again. And then they cut to the... Uh, we got the commercial. Commercial, and we went back, and the Fatal 4-Way started. Yes, which makes sense. Yeah. So, not too much happened in the match. Yeah. Um, and all of a sudden, we get a return. Yes. Paige's music hits. Mm-hmm. She comes out. She asks if anybody missed her. They get yes. <laughs> and she says, I can't hear you. So, the whole crowd erupts, and then, you know, she says... But I didn't come alone. Uh-huh. She starts walking to the ring. You know and- what I was afraid of? Mm. Hearing Del Rio's music, <laughs> I know it wouldn't have made any sense. Chance, yeah, it wouldn't have made any sense. But I, I just, I just had a feeling. No, he's ruining impact. Yeah. So luckily, I, and I knew that, but yeah. at the same time, I'm like, I mean, technically they've taped through like February or that, January. And I wouldn't honestly be too surprised if Vince just took him back just to not let 
Impact have him. I, mean, I don't think he cares at this point. Yeah, but well, he, it's fair enough. And I think care. they're they're separated. Who? Uh, Page and Alberto. I, I think. I know. I, oh, I okay. heard that yeah, as yeah. well. But All I'm right. just like in the back yeah, of my I, head. I'm like <laughs> just, just like it. It would just be nah. too too much. Yeah. So uh, I think she goes toward the ring, and yes. then Mandy well, Rose and Sonya Deville come out through the crowd. Yeah, it was a uh, surprising. These are duo. not two people I would have expected to get called up. Well, and what do we see? Uh, Mandy Rose once or twice. She right, the undisputed she, error brought her out. Right? She no. Oh no no that that, that was, was somebody else. Yes, that was so somebody else. Yeah. I don't think Mandy Rose has made an NXT appearance. She I think she was on she TV once. Might have made yeah. one. Meh. And it's funny because I can't remember what her name is, the the girl that was with Undisputed Era. Yeah. Um, but she, she um, I thought that's who it was at yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why. And I... then Corey Graves said mm-hmm. Mandy Rose. Yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot about her. Mm-hmm. And um, Sonya De- Deville was Fuck. on maybe a handful of times. Yeah, yeah. She's... Well, she was Dario beforehand, right? Yes. Dario Baronado or something yeah. like that. So, um, but yeah. She hasn't made that many appearances, so Mm-mm. it's and weird when they bring up people who aren't the mainstays in NXT. Yeah, and especially she, since her gimmick is Ultimate Fighter, and you have, you know, actual... Because I think she's wrestled a few amateur fights, but uh-huh. nothing professional like uh, yeah. Baszler and the rest of them. Yeah. So, you know, I, that'll be down the line, obviously. Well, I, I, I think that... They're, they're just trying to pick strong people to team with Paige. Mm-hmm. Um, people that look like they can get it done. Yes. But yeah, apparently Mandy Rose has only been in the business for a couple of years. She's not tough enough. Yeah. Yeah. And I, don't, I don't remember if she won. Um, I, I, I feel like she did. Not a clue. Um, but uh, but that, I don't know what the move was, but it actually looked pretty good. Yeah. The one move that she hit mm-hmm. on, I guess, probably yeah. Fox or Bailey. Paige came in the ring. They laid all of them out, mm-hmm. and they stood tall. Yes. So I guess I'm guessing this is just to kind of change things up with a stagnant women's roster. I I think also to expand it. Yeah. I think that was possibly. I wonder the goal. if they're gonna add t- a title or something. Um, they it, did have the divas tag, right? Or no? No. Impact had that then. I guess. TNA. Yeah, TNA had the tag titles. Um, it's always possible. Yeah. Um, I don't know if they're trying to, well, because there's always the rumors of the women's show. Mm -hmm. So maybe with them bringing up or like you said, what a rumble. That's literally what I was talking about. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. But we didn't get to it yet. I guess that's true. Because, um, well, yeah, because it makes all the sense because they got rid of, they released Summer Rae and and Emma. Yeah. Summer Rae was obviously because she was just uh, she's a waste been on of TV. A, and yeah, she was just a waste of a spot, a spot on the roster. Mm-hmm. Um, and Emma was for whatever the reason was. Yeah. Um, uh, but you know, yeah. I, I guess they're trying to put up. Hey, it's it's something new. Yeah. I was surprised. You were surprised. Yeah. So that, that's that's all. It's it's all good. Yeah. And then uh, we get the three of them walking backstage, and Renee asks them, well, what happened out there? And so Bliss walks up, and she goes, you know what? All of them out there got exactly what they deserve. Mm-hmm. And then I guess Bliss and, what was it, Rose, or something like that? They, they've been together before, back in, like, I think in NXT last year. Uh-huh. Something like that. Or maybe it was on the main. I don't remember. There was some clip of them all together. Oh. So they had history. Huh. Um. I don't but yeah, remember that. Paige introduces them, uh-huh. or Alexa to them, and then they all beat her down. Yes. Yeah. That was their introduction. Yep. Getting beat Pretty up. much. Um, but yeah, they, they definitely fit the part, and I don't know if this is going to be a new stable, so to speak. That's possible. But I like stable, so. Yeah, it it, it feels like it should be a good teaming, mm-hmm. so look yeah. looking forward to what they yeah. have planned. Yeah. But uh, yeah, because I think a lot of people were confused why they didn't bring up uh, Billy Kay and Peyton, but they wouldn't have made sense in this role. I don't think they. Well, I and I, now I think that Paige is gonna be a tweener. Mm-hmm. I think they see Billy Kay and Peyton Royce as full heel. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's so. The plan. I would imagine that that's probably why they yeah. didn't have them. Unless they want to give them a bigger role. You know, they they've had a big role in NXT, but 
Yeah. yeah. Or they feel like they're more useful in NXT right now. Yeah, that's true. And, but who knows? Yep. Um, anyway. Mm-hmm. So up next, we have the, the long-awaited yes. Braun versus Jason Jordan match. Couldn't wait for um, it. Jordan starts selling the knee. Mm-hmm. So he Yeah, I think it. he went to pick Braun up, right? Yeah. And the knee yeah, buckled he, or whatever. It, it's funny because it looked like he was having trouble walking Bray Wyatt across the ring, but he's able to pick up Braun. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you made that mention of that last yeah. week, right? Yeah. It's like Br- Bray's a little heavier than yeah. uh, than what he's used, used to. Yeah. Um, so then Jordan goes outside the ring, right? Yeah. And then all of a sudden, Braun Strowman's buddy, Kane, comes up with, with a, a chair, chair and starts beating him. They go outside the ring, and then he puts the chair under his neck and slams into the ring steps, yes. right? Yes, and then and Braun... Braun's choking and spitting and <laughs> coughing and <laughs> the whole nine yards. Yeah. And- that was that. It's true. So this is not over. Nope. Not that we're surprised because they never officially had a match. Yeah, there was no uh, actual yeah. res- resolution to this. Yeah. Um, so up next, we have uh, Enzo coming mm-hmm. out with the Zo train. The Zo train, yes. Yeah. His lackeys. Yep. <laughs> they look so awkward <laughs> when they're following him. Out. The best was when they were in the ring. I saw a, a video of it with, uh, or Google, I guess it was... Enzo, oh, Nice, Enzo, and Davari, and Gulak was behind him trying to do the dance, and it was just so awkward yeah. and funny. It's funny because he's like trying to emulate uh, Enzo, but mm-hmm. like just has he doesn't have the the smoothness that Enzo oh, does in man. doing it. He's, it's so funny, so good. Yeah, but yeah, he he brings all them out, and then he talks to each of them on he, how their life has improved since joining the he was train. He was telling everybody why they are thankful. Mm-hmm. Oh is, yes, that's right. It's yeah. just funny. Mm-hmm. It's like I'm not gonna let them speak. I'm gonna tell you why they are thankful right. for, <laughs> for me. And um, then he gets to Gulak and uh, says something about how um, he should be thankful because I've gotten more exposure to your powerpoint, PowerPoint. Presenta- presentations <laughs> and at that point he's like Let, let's start talking about those and then he um, then uh rich swan's music hits mm-hmm. um so they you know how on the bottom of the screen to tell you whoever's coming yeah. out it said rich swan with the three other of them mm. it's like that's weird why would you put it that way yeah, the, oh, yeah, yeah, I did notice that, because yeah. I was like, oh, I guess he's going to fight Enzo I thought that was supposed something? to be a match. Yeah, yeah, Because it said Enzo with the, right. with the, the Zotrain. Zotrain. Yeah, right, yeah, right. I did so, notice that. So, like, I guess it's Rich Swan versus, uh, versus Enzo, and yeah. then that didn't happen. Um, so what happens is um, pretty much Rich Swan, Cedric, and what is it? Tozawa and, and, Mustafa, and, Ali. and Mustafa Ali. Yeah. They, um, they say that, unlike these suck-ups... We mm-hmm. try to earn our title opportunities. Right. And then Enzo says something about, you you don't deserve it. Mm-hmm. And then they start fighting they for fight. whatever reason. Yep. So we go to commercial, we come back, and we have a eight-man cruiserweight tag. Ash. Such a surprise. Yes. I, th- I think Michael Cole said something about not thinking or not seeing this coming mm. or something like that, even oh, though yeah, that's everybody. Right. No Amdar was out there. So it was, Enzo was the only, odd Yeah, man Enzo out, was so he, not in the... Yeah. yeah. But yeah, um, it's just funny because obviously everybody saw this guy. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, Mustafa Ali got the win, hitting an inverted 450 on Noam Dar. Yes. Um, Tony Nice took a nasty uh, looking uh, lumbar check. Well, he slid on his neck. I was going to say it was more of the landing <laughs> yeah. because he bounced like they always do. And uh, he landed on his face and slid, slid. <laughs> towards the side <laughs> of the ring. Oh, man. Um, but yeah. It was, you know, Chris Away match on Raw. Yep, that's it. Um, Got to get it in there. Exactly. That's it. Got to kill time. Mm-hmm. So uh, up next we have, uh, who, who was looking to check on Jason Jordan? No, was, no, I said it was just check check on Jason Jordan with, uh, Kurt Angle was with him. Uh-huh. And we just... Well, no, it wasn't someone walking up asking his condition, or was it like Renee? It might have been. Th- okay. Yeah. Yeah, because someone came up to Angle and said, what is the condition of... Mm. Uh, Braun. Oh, right, right. And Kurt right, Angle yes. said that he refused treatment and mm-hmm. he left. That's what it was. Okay. I knew and, that happened, but I wasn't sure. Yeah. If, and and then they went into the the locker room mm-hmm. or the trainer's room right. where Jordan was and he was putting ice on mm-hmm. it because obviously that means he must be hurt. And then the Miz comes in and starts complaining about his match with Roman Reigns. You need to cancel unfair. the match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I don't even yeah. think Kurt even responded, did he? No, he did. He said, I'm not I'm not canceling the match. Ah, whatever. Um, but yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So. We got Elias. Came out. He said he's the Reaper of Lost Souls. Anything so about Raw's winning, or Raw's victory last night at Survivor Series, and then Matt Hardy comes out. Mm-hmm. They brawl. That's it. Yeah. It, was, <laughs> it wasn't a match. Nope. Matt Hardy was wearing plain clothes. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, apparently there was an interview with Matt Hardy on the fallout of Raw. Uh huh. Or I guess. Oh, yeah. like one of those WWE mm-hmm. exclusives. Yeah, things. I didn't watch okay. it, but I just saw that there yeah. was one. So. I, I thought you meant like a shoot interview mm-hmm. he did <laughs> that might have a little insight on what he's feeling about the way he's being used right now. <laughs> no. Um, no, 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 no. Because you can only imagine. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, that brought us to the main event. Yes. Or I fell asleep. <laughs> impressive um i guess i'll take the reigns then. yeah sure so uh we got reigns versus the miz for i i know i said it i know i said it all right for uh the icy title <laughs> um pretty pretty normal what you expect from the miz versus roman mm-hmm. the miz ran away a lot try to evade I don't believe that i know right try to evade roman's offense um and it looked like at one point Reigns finally had him. He was going for the Superman punch, mm-hmm. and then he's facing the the ramp. And then Sheamus and Cesaro come out, try to distract him. Yeah, one of them got up on the apron. Yes, right. And he then, was he was Sheamus. Yep. And then Reigns went after him. Miz grabbed him, hit him with a skull crushing finale, and then and Reigns kicked kick out. out. And surprise. yeah, well, technically speaking, he has won quite a lot of matches oh, like that. Uh, so. Basically, my thought process was, okay, he hit him with it. Mm-hmm. He kicked out. He's going to win the title. Yeah. Um, so, he basically, he kicks out of the Skull Crushing finale. Mm-hmm. Seth and Dean come out. They well, take the out the bar. beside himself. Oh, yeah, he, he was, just, yeah, he was yeah. losing it. Mm-hmm. Um, they take out the, the bar. And then, um, <laughs> at this point, Reigns hits the Superman punch on the Miz, who is distracted. And then he hits him with the spear, and that was it. That was it. Yep. Reign uh, is now the was first Intercontinental yes, title champion. Yes, he's officially Grand, right? Grand, Grand Slam. Slam. Yeah. Um, so I guess, I don't know if it came out yesterday, uh, but I guess Roman's going to have some sort of, um, I guess, competition for the uh, U.S. Open Challenge. He's going to have his own Open Challenge, I guess. Yeah, that works. So. That, I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. It, and it, he got a good reaction through the match. <laughs> there, no. No, because this, this came up at both times he was out. Same arena. Yeah, I know. Same people, probably. Same, same guy in the green shirt in the Completely front row. Completely different reactions from Sunday there, to Monday. There was very little booze, and he there was There was, like, himself. nothing. He was getting cheered the whole time. But as soon as he got in the ring in Survivor Series, forget Dude, about no, it. Same <laughs> arena. More referees in the audience. Yes, that <laughs> it made no sense. I, I, Whatever. I, I, can't, I can't. Whatever. Tell you, you know, and you would think they would boo this because yeah. of how behind the Miz they've been. I, I Whatever. Don't, I don't know. Um, uh, apparently, the Miz, I guess, is going to film another movie. Marine f- forty six. Six. Yeah, I think Becky's going to be in it. That's cool. Naomi yeah. was in the last one, yeah. and so was the Mizdarash, mm-hmm. and one of the Usos, maybe. Probably. I feel like, maybe not. I don't remember. Don't ask me which one. Um. <laughs> anyway, yeah, he's gonna be gone for a while. Yeah. I think he's probably gonna be gone past when the Maurice has the baby from the center. Oh, really? They said he said that it was an undisclosed amount of time. Wow. And it could be for an extended period of time. That's sad. I guess, but. But now th- you need those women more than yeah. <laughs> well, that and now when he comes back, it would be. He's going to win that title back, and it's going to be a good time. Yeah. Um, so, But yeah, no, because The Miz had a segment every week. Mm-hmm. He was always And always usually it was like sub-main event, if yeah. not main event. Some, either an interview and a match or yeah. or one or the so, other. That's yeah. good. Yeah. You know, yeah. free up some time. But it, at the same time, you kind of felt like the reason why they used them so much was because it was, you know, productive time. Yeah. So, or they could, that was the best use of their time. Mm-hmm. And they were showing a champion on TV. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that also helps. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, but yeah, no, Raw was a good show overall. Yes. 
Um, so yeah, that was our raw review. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.